out here deep in the woods exploring trying to get to one of my little hot spots out here far away but I have a dilemma I do there's a reason why I'm standing in this spot right here <laughs> you'll never believe it I'm not going to say this the wrong way but the artifacts can wait at the moment I made a big mistake when I first uh put the pants on that is and I filled them up with triangles I did because I need to start donating these things back to heaven it's about 11 30 we have about five hours to make some grain recoveries it's been about two months since I've been out here but what am I looking for well, I'm looking for some wire so I can hold the pants up. <laughs> the pants keep falling down. They keep slipping down. They do. I don't know if that's a good sign or what. You know we always pray for the, the great stuff. The grand discoveries and all. We do. And in many respects, a lot of times that we come out and recover many things, even if it's garbage. We always complain that it has a tendency to pull the pants down. And I haven't even started yet. Heck, I'm still so far away from that spot, for real. But I can't quite remember. I can't. If I remember seeing wire out here or not. There's always some kind of wires. Something like that. In dump sites. Always. You can guarantee it. Pieces of fencing, barbed wire fencing, whatever it is, zip ties, you name it. Looks like it's all covered up in leaves at the moment. Got to be some kind of wire here. Got to be. <laughs> Let me go ahead and try to find something before the pants expose what needs to be exposed gorgeous out here today fast moving white clouds it's only about 12 i'd say about 12 o'clock but you already know the routine uh -huh. it's crazy though it's only about 12 15 but the sun is already setting <laughs> i didn't come out expecting to find anything today i'm just going to try to enjoy the frigid weather it's like 37 right now 37 degrees the winds are blowing hard. They are. We're about to get the feet wet. Just experience heaven. And also donate back a few of the monumental triangles that we collected over the years. A few of them. <laughs> I have five in the pocket, but there's about a thousand left. Huh. Cool. That's a perfect one, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Go forever. Bingo. One down. A thousand to go, just about. It's going to be a long road. You know Da Vinci likes to go backwards. I do things funny like in the beginning. <laughs> and then when it's time to turn back around and go backwards, that shall be done. Here we go. Just hopped in. I see something's pristine white. If you see it out like this, it's got to be something. But if it's a chip, we're just leaving it. Well, dang it, that might be, that might be a piece right here. That just might be one. I will not be collecting that later. Yeah, I need to get all my ducks in a row. <laughs> You're probably asking, wondering. Hey, but uh, Da Vinci, did you happen to find that wire? <laughs> no, I did not find the wire for the pants. I did not. What a shame. So you know what that means. I'm going to be trying to look around for that for real, though. Mm, amongst other things. But I'm in the mood for some perfection. I am. I'm going to share a little secret with you right quick. I am. There's something weird about this time of year out here. It is. I'll never forget that one of those times I came out here 
and it was like two days after Christmas. And they gave us a different kind of Christmas gift. I think I recovered like three pieces fully intact within about 10 feet of each other. That was a wild moment right there for us. Yeah, here's a piece I saw a mile away. That doesn't like anything right there. It's just a chunk of rock. <laughs> you better believe my lips are frozen. Yeah. Hmm. And so is the water. But there's a piece of white we got to take a look at right there. And here's a big piece of white right here. And there's another piece right there. Hmm. Chip off the old block. We'll be leaving it. Yeah, but the reason I'm going to be donating back a good portion of my collection is that that's the right thing to do. I told you, I just take things to study. That's it. But there are love, there's a love affair going on with this. Uh-oh, it's floating away. I don't know about that one either. Hold on, we'll take a good look at this thing. We will. I got to get to that other white piece right here. Well, that's a broken preform. We're going to be leaving that out here. My preform collection is more monumental than you could ever imagine. I think 13 pieces is good enough. 13 to 16 preforms is good enough. Yeah, oh well. Cool. I haven't even looked over there yet. Good day to come out. Water's ice cold. Get that memory beat <laughs> beat into me in a different way we'll take a look at this item in my left hand a little bit later <laughs> hey check this out even the beavers are trying to help clear the way so we don't have to break our backs <laughs> check this out yeah they're trying to saw this thing down <laughs> they're trying to break it off something i know so they can build their beaver house or something like that but cool they're trying to clear the way so we don't have to keep climbing over this stuff right here. Yeah, but I, there's something behind me. There is. I think it might be our first piece of the day. I see it right there on the tip just hanging on. I think it's a baby one. It could be just a broken piece of quartz. Yeah, that's got to be one right here. It's broken. Dang it. Oh, yeah, it's a little fat too. It is. It's a little chubby. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep that one. I don't think I'll be tossing this one back. I mean, we know exactly what it is. And we do not find them this small, ever. We don't. Cool. All right. Let me go ahead and keep on moving. Still have a long way to go. Thank the Almighty for all this. They did good manipulation like I've never seen it before out here <laughs> making new gravel bars for us setting things up nothing yet I know I've gone around a couple of bins I have found a couple of like uh, promising looking pieces but I just chucked them back wasn't really much to even study out here I think I'll stick my studying just out into heaven and don't keep piling the pockets full of a bunch of questionables that pulled the shelves down off the wall because they weigh so much <laughs> the collection just got so big it was causing some damage for real though you know how we like to collect but it's not hoarding it's just something else I see a white piece it looks like it, it's kind of fat it looks like just another fat piece of a joke let's see what this thing is yeah it's it's fat all right nothing but a piece of perfection out here yeah but i hope you remember that uh that one time ken burns had this episode on georgia public television or something like that for the civil war one of his documentaries i think it was for the civil war or world war ii or something like that and i'll never forget 
Oh, I know what it was. It was something about the letters. You know, that one documentary you had about World War II letters or something like that. Where they were going through letters from the soldiers to their families. And reading stuff. And you know, Da Vinci records a lot. I do. Within my mind and my soul. I'm always recording the most important things I'll never forget. And I remember that one time when they were reading a letter from a soldier to his wife. On how he would give anything. Anything. For a freaking shoelace. That's kind of like how I feel right now. Because <laughs> I'll give anything. Anything. For a dang belt right now. Alright, there's like two things of interest right here. There's one right there. You can barely see it. I see a bottom, but it's probably, you know, a lot of stuff is always broken. That's why I'm going to donate 75% of my stuff back. In other words, all the broken stuff is coming back out if I can't put the puzzle back together again. We'll talk about that later. You know how I always do things like that. Let's take a look at this one. Ah, it's nothing. All right. There's something here. It's way too big to be anything. I think I found that seven years ago. But then this thing right here. Let's see if we can get into a different perspective. Maybe it'll tell us the truth at a different angle. Yep, we just found our first one of the day. I mean, second one of the day. Excuse me on that. I have to lean down differently because my pants are almost falling down to the knees right now. Okay, I guess we'll collect that until we find something better. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, the top is broken, but they probably refashioned it into something else. Another kind of tool, like a scraping tool. I know, I know the facts. I know these were not meant to kill animals. They were just used to disable them. And then they just went out waiting for the poor animal to be disabled. And then they would just tackle them down like they were playing football or something. Yeah, okay. We kind of figured that was going to be something right there. Cool. If we find something more historic. More monumental than that. This will be going back. Humongous gravel bars up in here. Heck yeah. New ones. But you know I can't take it. I guess I'm supposed to tell you how to find them. And leave them out here for you to find. Still nothing. I've only gone about maybe <laughs> 333 feet or something like that. Cool. At least I'm out here today. That's the only thing that matters. But I'll tell you one thing though. About these pants that I got from Goodwill. The ones I'm wearing now. First pair of pants that I got for exploring. Just like this first pair of pants that are absolutely waterproof they don't hold on to water at all heck they're dry already and I just stepped out of the water <laughs> perfect better believe it's going to be a perfect day I see a large piece of water I need to take a look at, but check this bad boy out right here. Talk about a preform. Yeah, I just kicked it up. It was right there. You can see that dome on top of it where they whacked off a few hundred pieces in a span of a few hundred days, probably. Probably not. Look at the size of that preform. Dang. That's the right item right there. I got. I think 15 or 16 in my collection. Yeah, that's a 
big joker right there. That's a nice looking preform. I don't know if I'll take it though, fellas. What do you think? It's got some perfect work on it. Yeah, let me go ahead and collect it. They just convinced me right now. Look at the work on that thing. Another perfect preform. I know it's a different kind of artifact. But this one's actually intact. All the ones that I collected, the better ones, are intact. I just chucked back the other ones. But that is a flawless preform right there. A different kind of history we're always looking for in heaven. Heck yeah. That was a good find. I was tempted to go ahead and try to, you know, leave it. But this right here is a different kind of history. Prehistory, that is. Because it wasn't even finished. They are always going to try to tempt me. They are, but they know I can always find them. Man, check out this thing right here. <laughs> Come and get it. They know I will always find them. Beautiful. You better believe I would have recovered that thing. Well, it's a different kind of recovery. It's part of the game. I know I keep talking about that a lot in my videos, but, you know, it's a different kind of game. It is. But they're meant to stay out here. I mean, you can hold on to a couple of them, a few of them, but just think about it. One for every single human being alive. One for every soul is good enough. Best find all day. At least it's not at the end of the day. <laughs> Time to get excited. Look at that balance of nature. There's something about the 4x4s four four just being balanced on top of a bunch of perfection out here. Yeah. Best fine all day. <laughs> Looks like we found our belt right here. Heck yeah. I'm going to have to work hard quarter to try to get that thing untangled. You better believe we found our belt for today. Hallelujah on that. Happy Sunday. Yeah, let me go ahead and get that thing on right. <laughs> Maybe I should use one of these amateur scrapers to uh, cut it or something like that. Like they did it back in the olden days. But maybe I can probably rip it off of there. Let's go ahead and shove this thing to the side for now. Yeah, bam. Let's go ahead and put the belt on. Perfect size too. It's my size, that's weird. Gave us the opportunity to uh, tie it in two knots. Perfect. Yeah, dang. We're having a better day than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Even found a belt to take our mind off something and put it on something else more important. Talk about Da Vinci style. I think it's about time I reach into the pocket right now and pull out another one. Yeah, where to this time? In the waters or up on the bank? Well, if it goes up on the bank, I don't know. That's part of my dilemma. If it goes up on the bank, it'll stay there, which is cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that thing. All right, two down, three to go in the pocket, 997 left. Just about that is. Go ahead and grab another one real quick. Bam. Left to go. Let me go ahead and continue on with this truck right through here. 
Hopefully we'll see something size in my left hand. Well, there's something here. Oh no, I think I saw that before. Yeah. But take a look at what's in my my left hand. Some things I recovered earlier, but I think they're just more questions. That's all. Look at these things. All right. Thought it might have been a scraper. Bam. Good one. I think I'll have to hide that one later. Thought this was something. It is nothing at all. Look at that. Yeah. Bam. And then, of course, this joker here thought it was a preform from heaven. But unfortunately, I don't know that. <laughs> Bam. Back up it goes. And then this joker right here. Look at this. I thought this was some kind of weird axe. Yeah, look at that thing. Look how sharp that thing is. But we'll just toss it behind us. <laughs> Into the woods. Yeah. Let me go ahead and go on with it. It's frigid out here. The only thing on my mind at the moment that I feel so happy about is the fact that I did laundry yesterday and got it out of the way. Heck yeah. Looks like we're going to be free. I see something. When you see that white, it's time to get hype. You better believe it is. That's got to be something right here. I see a bottom. Oh, it's crap. Don't tell me it's broken. Might be our first ancient piece in the past four hours, just about. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Well, actually, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if... I don't know if the top is just broken and they refat. Yeah, the top is broken. That's the bottom right there. And I don't know if they refastened it to some kind of dump scraper. But that thing would have been an ancient archaic piece. Well, it still kind of is. It's just missing <laughs> the entire top. We'll add it to the historic pile. Cool. It's about 325. Feels like 7.43 on a, on a random summer day because <laughs> it's so dark out here. Cool. Taking it out of here to add to the abstract art piece we'll be working on later. Yep. I know. It just looks like a broken piece of siding. Cool. It's exactly what it is. Yeah, but it's abstract in a different way. We'll probably melt it. Cool. And then, of course, <laughs> probably one of the best ones I have ever, ever collected. Look at that perfect masterpiece, part of the perfect cube. Gotta love them out here. Thank you, fellas. Keep on going. You know I set the jug down. You better believe I did. Might have another piece right here. Don't know. It's a piece of crystal. I know that for sure though. Uh, ooh, it's slight. Oops, floating away. Paper thin. Well. Alright, nothing to be depressed about. I guess it's just a, uh, a broken thumb scraper. If you see it this perfect out here like this, it's definitely part of something, like a tool. Oh well, crystal clear with striations added to the pocket. Keep on going.
It's been a long time waiting, at least another hour. <laughs> time to set the jug down. I know it's too small for you to see in that perspective. But also, I got, I found two pairs of, well, not two pairs of sunglasses. I found one pair of glasses and a, uh, a lens to a sunglass, some sunglasses back here. Yeah, boys are getting cold out here. I better hurry my butt up and go. <laughs> Only have a few minutes to look around, but look around we will. I see another thing right here in the water. <sighs> Thank the Lord they wouldn't let us leave out without finding one last piece, but we still have a ways to go. Is it broken? Oh, well, I think it's intact. We'll just mark this one down as historic, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that's weird. It's got one of those veins inside of it. Maybe that's just dirt. Cool. Bottom looks a little bit broken, but we'll we'll recover this thing right here. The tip is still there. The most important aspect of it is that the head is still on. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on going. Seems like it's been the crystal stuff again today. Let me keep on going. Might be more. Don't know.